about the 9th of January that the idea initially uh, was, was thought of. The idea came as I was uh, doing what I had done for the last month, uh, pouring over uh, different segments of the market, looking for needs that weren't being satisfied. And again, it was, there was an excitement about the possibility, but it took a lot more work beyond that to really verify that the possibility existed. Uh, could we, in fact, make a computer that was compatible? Could we make a portable computer that really did everything that the IBM PC did? If we could, there was a big opportunity, but we didn't know at that time. It's hard for most people to understand and believe that when we left Texas Instruments to go, quote, start a company, that we did not already know what we were going to go do. And I know I tell that story to a lot of people, and I think some people believe it, but most, most people can't fathom that we would have actually quit and left the company with no idea of what we were going to do other than saying we were going to start a company. Start back when Rod Kenny and Jim Harris and I set out to start a company. We knew we wanted to work together. We didn't know exactly what we wanted to do. But, but we knew that it'd be important for us to all have the same goals in mind. And so we, we set aside enough money to carry us and our families forward for about six months. We uh, convinced ourselves in a couple of days that, in fact, we could do it. Uh, we didn't know for sure, but we convinced ourselves that it was possible. We set up a meeting with venture capitalists that happened about two weeks later. Uh, uh, LJ7 and Ben Rosen, who, who were Seven Rosen partners, were the first uh, venture capitalists we showed the idea to. To get ready for that meeting is where the coffee shop came in. We felt like we needed to not only have a spec sheet for the product and a financial plan, but also have a drawing that would communicate the, uh, the need for professional styling. We felt that was very important. And that carries us back to the, to the pie shop. And the, uh, the, the three people at the pie shop, contrary to popular belief, were Jim Harris, Rod Canyon, and Ted Papajan. One day there's a knock on the door, and there they both were, and expressing their interest in getting into the computer business. And we had asked the uh, computer land uh, people there if we could open up that unit and take a look at it. Well, they refused, and so uh, we decided uh, we'd have to leave. So we went to a place called the House of Pies, which is just a short distance from there. And there we started to discuss, you know, how we might build a computer. We actually started to draw this up on the back of a placemat. Rod and I had both put in $1,000 into the company. So uh, this was our first big expenditure. Uh, out of the $2,000 that we had capitalized the company with, we were getting ready to pay Ted Popjohn $200 to draw these pretty pictures, 10% of our worth. <laughs> kind of dawned on us right then that, hmm, this money seemed like it's going to go pretty fast. So, anyway, he drew the pictures, we gave him the $200, and we took the pictures to uh, the hotel and met with Ben and LJ. We set up a meeting with venture capitalists that happened about two weeks later. Uh, uh, LJ7 and Ben Rosen, who, who were Seven Rosen partners, were the first uh, venture capitalists we showed the idea to. They uh, discussed it amongst themselves for another couple of weeks, and it was about mid-February when we got an, a call indicating that they were willing to fund the idea. They said, why don't we loan you some money to get the company started? We, they were going to fund us for one and a half million dollars out of three venture capital companies. And uh, we knew that time was of essence, they did too. And so they suggested, well, we'll just loan you $20,000 and y'all can get started. Now, the fly in the ointment was that, oh, by the way, that's going to be a personal note to you and Rod and uh, Jim Harris, Rod Canyon, and Bill Murto. Personal note? You mean like uh, we're personally liable for it? I said, yeah. I said, like, uh, if y'all decided not to, for some reason, not to uh, go ahead, would we owe the money to you? Well, yeah, yeah, you would. You'd owe that back to us, I see. So, well, we're going to go out and start getting uh, space and uh, furniture, so we're going to go sign a lease for uh, so many square feet, long-term lease, and we'll be responsible, Jim Harris and Bill Murto and Rod Canyon, and if y'all back out, we'll still owe that lease, won't we? He said, yeah, okay. If we uh, go lease some furniture, we're, same thing, right? He says, 
Well, yeah. So is there any guarantee that we'll get this money, the funding? Well, we got to be honest with you. The, if if something changes between now and the time that we fund, that we think that it's not a, a good investment for the people that have put their money with us, we have a we have a duty to protect their investments, and we would have to back out. We started the company February 16, 1982, and we incorporated it as Gateway Technology. Uh, the first office that we had was composed of a small office in a bank building on Jones Road, the Allied Cypress Bank building. And we had two card tables. I think we had three or four chairs, not sure. And uh, we proceeded to start the business up in that, in those offices. We had a beautiful telephone stand, which was a cardboard box. We had two cardboard boxes. We had one for inside the reception area and one for outside the reception area. And we had a cord long enough on the telephone to be able to pass it through the reception window. When I first came on, I had enough money in the budget for my next week's salary, but not the week after that. Um, but I had such a strong impression from the people. Uh, just the you know, caliber and quality that, you know, even if they wouldn't tell me what they were doing. Um, but I knew even if it wasn't a good idea, they could do pretty much whatever they wanted. And, the right stuff together. If some people join the company, like they quit where they're working and join our company, and then we don't get funding, they're out of a job too, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right too. I see. Okay, so we pretty well understood what the situation was. Uh, basically, I think we had the design expertise to accomplish most of the things, but I think we went way beyond that. I mean, for instance, uh, our Vice President, Jim Harris, at that time, when we had finished one of our prototypes, he grabbed it and literally threw it down the hallway, where it bounced and crashed into the walls, and he said, pick it up and see if it'll work. And fortunately, it did. We had uh, some work to do in Massachusetts, and we had to take one of the first or second computers um, that we had. We were walking down the hall, and Jim Harris says, you know, that's a million-dollar computer you have in your hand. That's what it cost to build that one unit. Um, and we ended up buying a second seat for it, and tucking it in, putting the seat belt on it, and the airplane and everything. So the product that we had in our mind then was a professional-looking, high-quality unit that an executive would not be, uh, that would, he, would, he, would, he would not be embarrassed to have it sitting on his desk and that it, in fact, be completely compatible to the IBM personal computer and run all the software. Good morning and welcome. My name is Rod Canyon, and I am the president of Compact Computer Corporation of Houston, the mysterious company you have been invited to come and hear about today. This is an important day for us, a public introduction of a new personal computer that has been in development for nine months, and I thank you for being here to share it with us. I'll take a few minutes to explain the product and the company, then we'd like to demonstrate the features that we feel make the product unique. The company is Compact Computer Corporation, and the product is the Compact Portable Computer. And we are pleased to have you here today to be among the first to see that the ideal has indeed been achieved. It is now my pleasure to show you the Compact Portable Computer, which we believe is a milestone in the personal computer field. After it was over and Rod called, he got on the PA system and announced that we were Compact Computer Corporation. Everything went great. You could have heard the cheering and the hoo-ha, and, and uh, Randy Jenkins' uh, little girlfriend sent up a chocolate chip cookie about the size of a super large pizza. 